Well, hey, Drayton Reform Church family. Uh, last week, an email was sent out to you telling you that we're going to be regathering for worship on August 2nd. Uh, what was also included in that email was we're, we wanted to put a video together to tell you what to expect when you come to worship. Uh, so it's not something that's totally foreign to you. You get to kind of see a walkthrough. So Pastor Daniel and I, we're going to be taking you through. So here we are. We're at the beginning uh, of our tour. Uh, at the beginning, at the front entrance. And so what you'll find here is as you come to the church, uh, there'll be a greeter here. Uh, all our volunteers will be wearing masks. We also encourage you strongly uh, to wear a mask unless if, if for medical reasons that's prohibitive. There's gonna be a table here with some masks in case you forget yours, as well as some hand sanitizer. And uh, so this is the beginning of our kind of worship time as we come together. Also, as you come in, you'll see that we're on the right side of the uh, entrance. And uh, this is gonna be the kind of going in door. All right, so we're gonna make our way into the church building. These doors are gonna be propped open as well. So we're gonna come in here. As you can see, there's gonna be arrows and we're gonna show you kind of what direction we're going in. And, um, so you're going to come up the stairs, we're going to have the one-way stairs up on the right side. And as you see, there's, a couple, there's another arrow here. And then you have these decals on the floor. These are kind of neat little decals. Uh, what you, oh, there, Daniel's giving a little uh, zoom in. And uh, they're kind of situated about six feet apart. It's a visual reminder for us to keep that physical distancing as we're in the church building. So we're also gonna have a volunteer up here. That volunteer is gonna have a bit of a, a, um, a sign up list with them. And that list is all the names of people that have registered already to come to church. So that volunteer is gonna just check off to make sure everybody's here. So we're also gonna invite people to uh, either go up the balcony or use the center doors. So the entire sanctuary is going to be uh, available for people to sit. We're gonna use the main doors, the, the center doors. All right, now we're in the sanctuary. And as you can see, um, every other row has been roped off. Um, and family units are, can sit together, but if you're not part of a, another family, we're gonna encourage a six foot distance of sitting, a physical distancing. Now also here in the sanctuary, as you probably have read, uh, we won't be singing. Um, just per health guidelines, they think, uh, they say that singing is a fairly um, strong, high risk activity. So here in the sanctuary, as you can see, um, right up into the balcony, every other row. That's why we've estimated hopefully about 125 people, maybe a little bit more, but that's what we're gonna start with uh, for the first Sunday. So now we're up uh, on the front of the sanctuary. We are gonna have a worship team, but in order to protect and just uh, for the health and safety of everyone, we're gonna have some plexiglass shields for our singers to protect from any spread. So after the service, we're gonna encourage everyone just to use whatever door uh, they feel comfortable with, but of course, keep in mind the physical distancing, the six feet. As you also know, there's gonna be no Sunday school, uh, no nursery, but we will have a change table available for families that perhaps will bring young ones uh, downstairs. We'll show you that a little bit later. So we're now back in the foyer, and as you can see, we're at the mailboxes. We're gonna encourage you to get your mail, uh, but again, just remember the distancing, the physical distancing. Also, as you see here, we have the doors uh, closed to the kitchen. This one was almost closed, now it's fully closed. Uh, Fellowship Hall is going to be off limits to everyone. As we make our way here, this bathroom here is going to be available. But what you see here is some plastic on the floor as we're getting ready for the, um, the install of the new elevator. So the elevator app is actually going to be out of order for the next several weeks. We just want to let you know that as you see uh, some of the construction material already accumulating here. As we make our way back down, as you can see the arrows, we are going to invite everybody to make their way down the right side of the stairs. And as we come down, these doors will be propped open. 
And as you leave the church building after the worship service, we're gonna go the right side here. We're gonna, we're gonna take you downstairs now. As you see arrows here on the floor. These are gonna be arrows to go for the washroom. As you can see, there's some plywood on the floor. Again, they're getting ready for the uh, install of the new elevator. For those of you that perhaps may be not so steady in your feet, um, some of this plywood does have a bit of a lip on it. Uh, just have to watch that out, watch out for that, or you can use the washroom upstairs. So these washrooms are all gonna be open, uh, but the rest of the building is going to be um, roped off. So here's the washrooms. We have some hand sanitizer down here but before you go into the uh, washroom, as well as, as you can see there, it's been roped off to go to the other Sunday school rooms. So as we mentioned upstairs, as you come downstairs, uh, for those of you who have little ones that you might need a change table, we do have a change table here. As you can also see, there is a sign that's been placed in all the bathrooms here as well. We're gonna encourage you to wash your hands. It says here, use soap and water for at least 20 seconds, just as a good reminder, again, for us to, uh, to watch out for the health and safety of one another. All right, we're in the library and that's gonna be open as well. But we're gonna encourage people just to limit to about four people at a time here so that there's enough distancing uh, in the library. So now we're out again uh, after the service. Uh, we won't be having fellowship time, unfortunately, but uh, we are a community that loves to connect and fellowship. So if you're outside and you wanna fellowship with somebody, that's great. Just remember to have that six foot physical distance. Uh, we are excited to worship again on August 2nd. And so we hope to see you here. If you're not able to come, that's, that's fine. Uh, you can just take in our live stream. So Lord be with you and uh, we'll see you soon with masks as well as some hand, sand, hand, sand sanitizer. I mean, oh, like, <laughs> as well as, um, yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna cut that out too. Great, can't wait to cut it out. <laughs>